mean, it takes practice to draw clean. Suppose your front sight catches as you're pulling, or a, well, now that went well, but suppose my thumb hit the mag release. Now as I'm raising my weapon, I hear all my ammo hit the ground. Hopefully I got one in the chamber, but you can bet your life on that. Who in the hell are you, the Undertaker? I might be undertaking the situation here. Let me see your chest. You buy that necklace or poach the gator and yank her teeth out? I shot her and ate her tail. I put you in Florida around Lake Okeechobee. Bell Glade, who are you? Raylan Gibbons. I'm a deputy, United States Marshal. You mind telling me who you are? You know your name, don't you? I'm Dewey, Dewey Crow. I sent a boy to Stark from Belglade, a fellow named Dale Crow Jr. He's my kin. Huh. What are you doing here, Mr. Crow? I come to take Ava someplace. Ava! Oh, let me tell you something. You don't walk into a person's house unless you're invited. What you better do is go on that side and knock on the door. If wants to see you, I'll let you in. If she don't, you'll be on your way. All right. I'm gonna go out. And then I'm coming back in. Crow, you better hold on there a sec while I explain something to you. I want you to understand, I don't pull my sidearm unless I'm going to shoot to kill. That's its purpose, huh? To kill, so that's how I use it. I want you to think about that before you act and it's too late. Jesus Christ, I got a scatter gun pointed right at you. Do you rack in a load before I put a hole through you? Where'd you want to take Ava? Man, I don't understand you. Boyd want to see her? It's none of your business. You know Boyd and I were buddies? You dug coal and drank beer together. In fact, you see him. You tell him I'm in Holland, all right? Hey, if I was you, I'd give up this Nazi bullshit. Go back to poaching gators. Safer. Next time I see you, I'm gonna go. Mm. Tell Boyd his old buddy wants to see him. Raylan Givens. I found the car. Guess the old man trusted you. How far ahead of you are they? No, oh, still hot. They can't be more than a few minutes. What do you need? Well, you better send a chopper here as fast as you can. In an ambulance. Hey, Marshal. Right there is good. Frank, you don't have to listen to him. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to take you first. Frank, don't listen to him. We just want to talk to you, Marshal, see if we can work something out. Can't see we got anything to talk about, but if you want to say something, you can say it from right there. Can I come a little closer so we're not shouting like a couple of drunken hobos? I can hear you. Well, is it okay if I come a little, a little closer? Is that okay? You take one more step, I'll shoot you. That's all I'm gonna say. Marshal, I want to tell you something important.
Use it or throw it away. Sit here a sec, catch my breath. Got an ambulance on the way. Uh, that'll be nice. I warned you. Twice. I guess I'm one of those guys who don't believe you when you tell them the stove's hot. I have to touch it. Might get me in trouble one day. <laughs> sure did rough me up here, Marshal. But I think we still might get the decision. See? All the way here, we're talking to a guy in Mexico, so if Raleigh's not already dead, he will be soon. I think we call some drama. <laughs> Place. What do you want? What is that smell? You got a dead cat in here or something? You ain't gonna be smiling when I knock your teeth out. Oh, you gonna bob and weave out of the path of a bullet? Cause that I'd like to see. Sit down. How'd you find out where I live? Well, that was easy. I just asked everyone I saw where the dumbest, broken down, never was boxer in all of Kentucky lived, and they all told me to come here. Okay. What the hell do you want? I want you to tell me what Duffy has planned for Gary. Well, why don't you go ask Duffy? I just take orders. If I wanted to ask Duffy, I'd have his gun pointed at him. All right. You want to know what we're going to do to Gary and your ex-wife? Yeah. Well, he's not so stupid as you thought, huh? I know why you care about that dumb bitch. Disrespect her again. I'll put a hole in your leg. Well, from what I understand, she filed for divorce, which means she left you. Someone said they were gonna whoop on my ex-wife, I'd probably thank them. Well, that's awfully compassionate of you, Billy Mac. Why'd yours leave you law, man? Side of your gun not turn her on anymore? I don't know. You have to ask her. I just might do that. Tell me what Duffy has planned. Ah, Jesus Christ! Now. We was gonna take her. What, what do you mean? In case Gary didn't show with the money, we was gonna kidnap the missus, use her to force Gary's hand. When? Oh, son of a... Billy, the next one is for you. Tonight. I'm supposed to have her over at Duffy's in an hour, but he said he wanted me to stop off and pick up some trash bags. Trash bags? What the hell for? <laughs> Duffy's crazy. You know what, Billy Mac? Just because you can't box and you're stupid don't mean you gotta end up dead. Travis Travers, just the man I wanted to see. Yeah, Curtis mentioned you might be stopping by. Yeah, do you mind if I come in? I got some papers I need you to sign. Yeah, come on in. You don't have time, you don't have time. Can you get a gun? Wow, it seemed like more than five grand. Oh, that's because it's 20. Where'd you get five, Curtis? You don't think he's trying to hold out on you, do you? You know what? Why don't we go ask him? I think he's out back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his face. I am so disappointed in him. Shots fired, 9922 Takes Creek Road. Plain clothes officer on site, requesting backup. Are you okay? Okay.
Marshall, are you okay? 